I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. Sounds exciting. Let's do it. Let's hear what this guy has to say. Gilbert, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us. Instead of just hiding here in the longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be. Defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient. And your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. He definitely wants to accomplish a lie. He's trying to live up to being something great. Alright, so we're going to go questing. I don't think there's anything else to do here except get the map out and travel to East Anglia. Super excited to head out there. And yes, to be clear, is East Anglia. And it's way over here near the North Sea. You can look up here. There's Northumbria up here. And then East Anglia. What is this green thing? Oh, nice. Someone took this picture. All those likes. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I think it's worth a shot. Ah, I just forget it. But you guys can see it, it looks pretty nice. Alright. Off we go. And we will have to literally. I, well, I turned my. Kind of messed up here. What I did was I turned my legend off because I couldn't find my locations. So we need to turn that back on. Services, miscellaneous, uh, yeah, let's keep it all on. We definitely know where we're going now, so that helps. Let's get to the furthest that we can get over there because that is a long trip. So fast traveling is definitely. So yeah, East Anglia. So East Anglia is a location where the Vikings, as they said, took over and started raiding. That's kind of where the home base was when the original Vikings came over, when they attempted to raid. We're gonna go confront the Dane steward. Loot! Pretty early on the loot track. Um, I, I'm shocked how much loot is like just sitting right below you. It's almost like a hidden secret. Looks like we are gonna be swimming. That is really pretty. I'm really glad I got shallow. Shallow. These guys are doing. Oh, 
I would assume the people over here would be the most battle hardened, so we'll see what characters we get. This is at the front, basically. It'd be interesting to see how they decide to go from a creative standpoint with these single out. Oh. Hey, you don't need to talk to me. I don't even think we're in East Anglia yet. Your doom comes. It's a long trip. I'll kill you. No, you won't. I do need your votes. <laughs> I need to commandeer your ship. This little boat right there. Let's get rolling. Yep. Going like two feet. Our journey shall continue. So we're gonna get rolling. Hopefully we'll make a decent angle up. There we go. Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. <laughs> yeah, battle hardened for sure. Super excited about East Anglia. I've heard yeah. stories about it. Yeah. Oh. Definitely don't want to lose my horse in the water. Looks pretty afflicted. Palms burned to the ground. Marshes. So we're in Northwick. Town. Anglia. This looks like a kingdom. Norwich, suffering hard times, I see. Gotta let it load, guys. So, good old Vikings. I think Assassin's Creed Valhalla was a great choice of game when it came to Ubisoft and them wanting to create a series that was going to be the next big thing. And there's so much you can explore with Vikings, so much you can explore by taking it to England's time period of just utter upheaval. What? 
What's happening? In here. Oh. No, not unless Hafton sent you. Let's pretend Hafton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finia, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim. Drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. Nope. Courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions, and like it or not, He's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. We want a Saxon king married to a Dane. For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. And the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him. See what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now. Pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. The Tale of Thine Oswald. Well, let's get started. So we just went to East Anglia, now we're doing the tale of. We're gonna find and speak to Oswald. See what happens. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It was. The nice thing about this is there's really no set piece. I, I can... built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. 
I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Alright guys, so we're gonna continue on this path. Um, let's do it. Alright guys. See how they tremble as we come to vine. It makes my guts all wobbly quickly. I never knew you as a man given to verse. Ah, their little worries, their little lives. They mean nothing to me. They're flies on shit.
Druid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. All right, guys, we're on the Betelie farm. Um, let's just continue on. Oh, that does not sound like a good idea. So we're gonna attend this dinner at night. Bat. Continue on to attend the dinner at night. A healthy scene in town, as Oswald has done well for himself. This is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, Broth here and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is. The last Saxon king we backed. Wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost a hundred and fifty men protecting his maggoty arse. Oh if you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back the thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, wolf kissed? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your... Flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Why am I not? I'm not getting any hits on these guys. Ridiculous! Absurd! This is no way to ensure... Forgot how to, like... Ah. 
so full of vigor today. I feel like it was a lot clearer to counter in the old games. This is not how we settled in Like Italy. you just press a button and counter. Here it's annoying. Brother, stop this both your asses. Oh my gosh. What is the counter button? It's freaking annoying. Um why doesn't it have a counter animation when you press the button? Got one of them down, thank God. Because I don't know how to counter. Okay, I was hitting his back, yet. Sorry. I'll break his defenses. I'll just strike this. Yeah, I'll go that route. This battle should have been a blowout. I just didn't have a counter. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Yay. I think that's a good stopping point unless it just cuts into another cut. Okay. Kingmaker quest was a fairly long quest. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. All right, guys, please click on that subscribe, that like button, um, get the notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video where we do the measure of a Norseman. It should be a lot of fun. See you guys.